Thanks, Chris. Well, it's estimated that about 13 million students in the U.S. will be bullied this year, but it's not just a problem for school children. No, experts say that grown-ups get bullied too, but many times there's little that can be done to stop it. Fox Carolina's Myra Ruiz is taking a closer look at the issue, and she joins us now in the studio. Myra? Well, good morning. We spoke to an employee assistant program expert who focuses on behavioral health, and she says a lot of times the problem stems from coworkers being unaware of how other perceive them or what's causing someone to act a certain way. You know, you think of the manager that employees will say they're bullying me to do something when they're really trying to hold them accountable. Though you do have, um, you know, boss bully bosses. If you remember the devil wears Prada, I mean, she was definitely a bully boss. And then you've got kind of peer to peer bullying where people are just picking on um, others. She's with First Son EAP, and she says companies can set policies that prohibit certain behaviors. They can also have specific plans of action to deal with the worker who is in the bullying role and also recommend extra services to help the worker who feels harassed. An employment attorney says he hears from many people who want to take legal action because of what they're experiencing at work, but then they're frustrated to learn that there's no legal recourse if they're not being targeted for specific reasons. Is it targeting you because of your race, sex, religion, national origin, disability status, or pregnancy? If it is, then you are legally protected to complain. You know, if it's not, then you've got to decide whether or not from a day-to-day -day, uh, quality of life experience, it's worth you staying in that work environment. Andy Arnold, the attorney there, says he has noticed that most workers who are 40 and over want to stay on the job but fight the bullying. He says younger workers are more inclined to just quit because they'd rather find something better than try to change what's happening. Now, another dynamic that might be causing friction is that these days there are multiple generations more than ever before working side by side in the workplace with baby boomers being there the longest. My Ruiz, Fox Carolina News.